Viaguit Makara, August Fall to two, my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't speak Irish, I pretty much just said hello, my friends, and welcome. My name is Martina Flanagan and I am coming to you from the beautiful Ballincollig Regional Park right here in Cork City, Ireland. So for today's video, I wanted to keep in with the spirit of the winter season and talk to you about not one, but two of my latest paintings of an ancient Irish goddess called the Kyliac. This painting right here is made out of acrylic paints and this one right here is a watercolor painting. And I'm going to talk to you a bit about what the Kyliac is about and who she is. So the word Kyliac is basically Irish for wise old crone and who the Kyliac is she was believed to be an ancient crone goddess of winter, an ancestral goddess, and a goddess of death. Her reign is said to begin on Samhain, or as many of you know it as Halloween, and it is believed to end on Imbolc, which is the first day of spring, which I believe is the first of February where according to legend the uh, old crone transformed back into the beautiful young goddess of spring the goddess Bridget okay so I just wanted to just zoom in a bit more on the painting to give you all a good look about what's going on in the painting and what it's about so for the acrylic painting we basically have the Kyliac standing on top of a hill her cloak is part of the winter landscape itself for she is believed to actually bring the snow and the ice and the wintry storms. So she is part of the winter landscape, part of the land herself. Uh, the animals that are with her, uh, the wolf and the owl, uh, the wolf is portrayed here because she is believed to be the patron goddess of wolves and the owl, I chose the owl because the owl has always been a symbol of wisdom and the Kyliac is a wisdom goddess, kind of similar to the goddess Athena in Greece whose uh, sort of familiar animal is also an owl. So you could consider this owl and this wolf, the Kyliac's uh, animal friends, her familiars that travel with her across the land as she brings winter across the land. Okay, so I kind of want to talk a bit now about the Kyliac and who she really is, particularly for me. And um, I've been recently introduced to the Kyliac in the past few years. And the three lessons of wisdom I have been taught by her that I have, I have discovered by myself and have actually been introduced, shall we say, by other crones and wise women are these three lessons. One, grow old with grace and not in fear of growing old. Two, die a good death and three never forget your ancestors now i kind of want to go into depth about what those three really mean the first is pretty easy grow old with grace and not in fear of growing old which is pretty much saying stop being afraid of those wrinkles appearing on your face stop being afraid of your hair going gray and white and I realize how hard it is I know I'm 30 years of age I'm still young but even now I am being bombarded with imagery where 
we're in a very youth obsessed culture where youth is beauty and old age is ugly and I'm calling bullshit on that uh, there's very little of time when you turn on the TV or go onto the computer where you're not bombarded with imageries of slathering your face with anti-wrinkle cream which in my opinion does not work or being told to cover your hair in hair dye the minute those grey hairs appear but it's it's all bullshit really in my opinion because thanks to the cardiac I am learning that every wrinkle every flick of grey hair which is either the colour of beautiful snow or the colour of starlight itself is an awakening into the power of the crone itself you are being initiated into your crone power and it is my deepest wish that when my time comes I will not give in to peer pressure and start slathering my face with anti-aging cream or covering my hair with hair dye trying to stop the grey hairs I want to embrace my time as a crone and I want to stop this patriarchal capitalistic toxic imagery that growing old is bad that women growing old is ugly and bad and the only way we're going to do this is by the current generation of crones and the future generations aka my generation everyone coming after me embrace their crone power and embrace the wrinkles that come onto the face embrace the snowy white gray hair I, i'm also beginning to learn that in order to grow old well which is on to the next lesson um die a good death it's not even there's not even so much a fear of growing old as a fear of growing so old that your mind starts to decay in Alzheimer's, dementia or schizophrenia. If I'm being honest I'm even more afraid of that than getting a few wrinkles and grey hairs but uh, I've got good news. There is a way to prevent that. The way to die a good death in my opinion is to start taking responsibility for yourself, for your own health. Not just your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, and more importantly, your spiritual health. Stop focusing on stop aging on the outside and start focusing on stop the pain and the aging on the inside. Because that's what's killing us. That's what's making us die before our time. That's what's causing our minds to degrade into the realms of dementia, Alzheimer's and schizophrenia. It's within the cure lies and the cure lies in eating the right foods and learning to de-stress properly, trying to find ways of relaxing and learning to let go. Dying a good death, I, I truly believe, means dying without hatred and bitterness and resentfulness and regrets in your heart and just fading away into the night. Like, let it all go to side and you're gone. That to me is a good death and that to me is a death I aim to. I hope to live beyond my hundred years. And I hope I am still as fit as a fiddle in my mind and possibly in, I mean, hopefully in my body. And that when the time comes, I'll just fade away because I choose it because it is my time. As I mentioned earlier, the Kyliak is also considered the ancestral goddess. She teaches the lessons and the importance of reconnecting to your ancestors and not forgetting them and I realize how hard this can be particularly if you have a lot of ancestors that have hurt you and have done a lot of wrong abuse particularly but I'm learning an incredible thing about ancestral healing it ain't about that really 
and all your ancestors were not bad people all your ancestors were not abusive people and by working with those the well ones the good ones the ascended ones you might say the ascended ancestors you can uplift the ones that did abuse the corrupt the greedy to raise them up because even if a thousand years have passed what your ancestors have done back then is still affecting you and future generations right here right now so when you heal that you're not only healing yourself you're healing all the generations that come after you so that history doesn't repeat itself that's the thing if we forget our ancestors if we don't start sharing the stories, be the good, the bad, the ugly, the cautionary tales, how are future generations going to learn what not to do? It's as the old saying goes, those that choose to ignore history are doomed to repeat it. So if we don't start sharing the stories with the future generation, with our children and grandchildren, they're just going to keep making our mistakes, our ancestors' mistakes, and on and on it's going to go until someone wakes up. And I'm believing now is the time to wake up. We are waking up. And that is the wisdom of the Kailia. To grow old with grace, die a good death, and never ever forget your ancestors. Well, Makara, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've liked this video just as much as I've liked creating it, show me by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, or better yet, leave me some comments. I love me some comments because the feedback lets me know I'm heading in the right direction with these videos. Now, in regards to these paintings, uh, they are both up for sale on my website, which is www.martinaflanaganart.com. And they're not only up for sale as original pieces of art, but also as art prints and postcards. So make sure to check them out and see what you like. That's all for now. I hope you come back again soon to watch some more of Martina Flanagan Art's YouTube channel. Salon!